Hey there, this is Tiffany from Little Theme Shop, giving you a quick tutorial on how to quickly get started with setting up your new theme. Uh, this tutorial is for all our themes in our shop, so even though I'm using bubble tea as an example, uh, the same steps and directions apply for all our other themes as well. So first of all, when you first activate your theme, you should be taken to this getting started page which also gives you directions that, pretty much the same directions I'm gonna give you in this video. So if you don't feel like watching this video, you can simply follow the directions here. Uh, and at the top is a pop-up that tells you which plugins are required. So we're gonna get started by activating these plugins. So click on begin activating plugins. And there should be three plugins listed here. Little homepage widgets, one-click demo import, and WooCommerce. Uh, the only plugin that's actually acquired is the little homepage widgets plugin. Uh, One-click demo import is only if you want to import demo content. WooCommerce is only obviously if you want to use WooCommerce. So for the point of this example, we're just going to activate all three. So we go down here, we click activate and it's, we click apply. So after activating your plugins, you, there should be a new option that appears under appearance that says import demo data. If you don't see it, just refresh your page. Uh, so click on this. And here is where we import uh, any of the demo home pages. As you can see, uh, there's four options to choose from. And then once you're ready, you just click import. The demo import is the easiest way to get set up if you want your site to look just like the demos. Uh, however, if you have an older site or just a site with uh, tons of content, uh, you probably don't want to import demo content. It's better to just do it manually, honestly. So here's how to do it the manual way. So first of all, uh, you have to create two pages. So you go over here, click add new, and we're going to name this page homepage. And at the bottom, we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom right here where it says page attributes, uh, where it says template, click on the drop down menu and select uh, home page widgets and publish it. Next, you're going to make a second page. So click add new again, rename this blog and we don't have to do anything. Just gonna name it blog, publish it. Okay, next we're going to go to settings and click on reading. So from here where it says your homepage displays, uh, change the option from your latest post to a static page. And here where it says homepage from the drop down, we're gonna select the homepage that we just made. And here where it says post page, we're gonna select the blog page that we just made. And then we're gonna save. After you've done this, now go check your homepage and see what it looks like. So your homepage should look like this right now. Uh, you should be seeing a message that basically tells you that the homepage is ready for the homepage widgets. So let's start that right now. Uh, you can start by clicking on customize, which is in your admin bar. Uh, then you go to widgets, then you go to homepage, since we're on the homepage. Uh, click add a widget. And let's add the slider since those are normally at the top. And there's our slider. Uh, you can change the number of posts, you can change the categories, there's tons of options here that you can make it look like how you want to look. And now let's add a second widget. And this is the mission statement widget. Just fill out your information here. And that's what it looks like. I mean, you can also customize it, you can change the color, you can add a background image or whatever, but this is the gist of how to make it. You can even change the order. For example, if you want it on top, you can add it on top. That's basically how the homepage works. It's basically controlled using widgets and you just drag and drop them in any order that you want. And that's how you build your homepage. And here's how to build the blog feed. And remember that blog page that we made a minute ago? Click on that. And this is where your blog feed will be. If you want your sidebar set up like the demo, basically you go to widgets, sidebar, and let's add like the about widget. 
And basically the sidebar is also controlled via widgets. So you just add all your information here. Now you can upload a picture. It's pretty self-explanatory. Basically you can add any other widgets you want done here. Once you're done making changes to your widgets, click publish. And here's your new widgetized page. And of course here's the blog page with the sidebar widgets. If you want the featured box to appear at the top of your blog feed, here's how to do that. First, uh, choose a post that you want to appear at the top of the blog feed. I'm gonna choose this one. Under status and visibility, click stick to the top of the blog, then update. Now when you check the blog feed, uh, that post will now be at the top of the blog. And that's pretty much about it. Uh, the only other options with the theme are located under theme options and usually general options, also color options. Change the background color, change the primary color. So pretty much do whatever you want. And when you're done, just click save. And that's pretty much it. If you need more in-depth instructions, uh, you can find that in the documentation, which is linked in your dashboard on the welcome page. And that's it. Thank you. Bye.